A look at the big picture and the rainfall and the wind shift line uh, that is associated with that. That wind shift line is a cold front. You'll be able to show you what's going on. Uh, all these wind streamlines that you're seeing right on off to the west, on off toward about Stanton and Waynesboro, right about into here. That's the cold front. Out ahead of it, we've got a funnel of air, of moist air, lifting on northward. Out ahead of it, we're going to likely to see a little bit more moderate rainfall move on through. You can see it down toward Winston, between Winston Salem and the Raleigh. Durham area. We see some lighter rain at first, but then around 2 o'clock it'll get a little bit more steady throughout the area. The big weather pattern uh, is a big weather pattern shift, and you know, I've been talking about it for over a week now, and it's going to drop on down. This particular area right there will drop on down into our area for tomorrow. And it's likely going to hang around for a while. There's that rainfall moving on in. We'll see more of that a little bit later on. Here's where things are an hour from now. We're likely to see little scattered rainfall. But the areas that I told you about, toward Winston, Salem, Raleigh, Durham, they'll start to blossom a little bit by 2 o'clock in the morning. So temperatures still around 60, 61 degrees. But here comes the cool front, 4 o'clock in the morning. On to 7 o'clock in the morning. We're likely to see some rain if you're out and about tomorrow morning at 7. Uh, kids are running off to school, so you'll need the umbrella in the morning. There's where we are by 10 o'clock in the morning. Still a few scattered showers, but thereafter it's pretty well done for. By 3 in the afternoon, the temperatures dropped. So the temperature will really be at its highest point right now uh, in the overnight hours. And then to start the day around 55 and by 3 in the afternoon dropping into the upper 40s. There's where things are by 7 o'clock in the evening, 45, 47. Now there could be a few scattered showers coming up uh, tomorrow during the evening hours, especially for North Carolina, uh, but it doesn't look hugely, hugely likely. Here's where things are by 7 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. Uh, we'll warm out up to right around 50, 51 degrees during the afternoon maybe a little sunshine at the end of the day. So we've got rain tomorrow. It'll cool off all day long. Coming up on Thursday, lots of cloud cover, rain, no, not real, real likely, but it'll be on the cool side, around 50 degrees, but not horrible. Now we work our way into Friday. We're likely to see some more rainfall, and those who are low 40s, low 40s during the middle of the day coming up on Friday. And some of these pink, purple, pink colors could indicate a little bit of rain mixed with snow into parts of the area. Now it'd be mainly into a well inland areas at 7 o'clock on Friday evening. Now this is brand new. This just updated uh, and uh, this is indicating a little bit of snow on Saturday morning as it comes to an end. But look at the temperature 40, 41, 38. So it's not likely to do anything other than perhaps stick in the grass for a little while uh, first thing on Saturday morning. So that's what's going on with that. Then we get into the day on Sunday. And there's an outside chance that we could see a stray snow flurry into the area during the day. It'll likely be only into the 30s during the afternoon coming up uh, on um, on Sunday. And then we go into Monday and we'll warm back on up a little bit, but it won't last long. It, we're pretty much locked in with some cooler weather. Now, the forecast model that I just showed you, the long range forecast model, we're looking for any accumulation of snow out of this and we went from Friday all the way into Sunday highly uncertain but as of right now nothing for our area for snowfall but we could see a flake or two of snow come falling out of the sky and not stick on, onto the grass or certainly not onto the pavement right now you know we're talking snow and it's 63 64 degrees at 11 o'clock at night well that's going to happen uh, quite likely the temperatures are really 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 going to cool on down uh, for the next several days and really on for the next week we'll start today at 55 and then drop it'll be rainy in the morning a quiet on thursday around 50 51 definitely rainy, kind of a nasty day on Friday. Could see a wintry mix, could see a morning wintry mix uh, coming up on Saturday, but the temperatures are in the 40s, so I'm not hugely concerned. Uh, and then we'll warm up briefly on Monday and Tuesday, likely beyond that. Uh, we're going to cool back on down into the low 40s again by Wednesday. Lots of big action to come. Jeremy Wheeler will be along with you tomorrow morning as that rain begins uh, on Wavy News 10 today.